Across the valley as we headed to the evening hours, we have traffic moving along okay. The sky cam shaking with gusty winds from the south. Now, south winds are warm, but it has a lot of moisture in it as well. Temperatures have been almost steady throughout the entirety of our day, and we're at 51 degrees right now. Winds at 21 miles per hour, still from that southerly direction. Now, the air moving up our way is very humid with dew points in the 40s. Making it a little hazy, foggy, and certainly some mist and drizzle falling from our skies this evening. Everyone along and south of Interstate 94 and south of Highway 10 in the mid 40s to around 50 degrees, and this extends all the way up into the Northern Valley as well. Grand Forks 52, Crookston 52, Bemidji 46, and Roseau right now you have 50 degrees. South winds pretty gusty out ahead of the storm right now. We see some rain in the arrowhead of Minnesota and Plenty full of clouds across the western and central Dakotas. So we take a look at the big picture, though, here in the central plains, a storm system is winding its wheels through the central Rockies of Colorado right now. Out of ahead of it in the warm air, severe weather, tornado warnings, thunderstorm warnings. Behind it, winter storm warnings with heavy snow in the elevated terrain of Colorado and New Mexico. And as we take a look at this, this is all heading in our general direction. Not expecting the severe weather to make its way all the way up here. But the wet weather is on its way. Here's your hour by hour forecast. If you're heading out this evening, not much is going to change. Look at this. Between now and 10 o'clock, temperatures stay put. Hardly moving, hardly budging, maybe even rising a degree or two out to the east. Spotty sprinkles in the forecast will persist this evening, but nothing heavy this evening. You'll need the windshield wash washers uh, going and the windshield washer fluid first thing in the morning. Moderate to heavy showers passing through from time to time as we're heading out. Draw a line from the Ellendale area, Oaks, all the way up towards Roseau County, maybe even the Kitson County area. That's where the best chance of showers will be early in the day. As we go up into the Devil's Lake Basin, the James River Valley, I don't think you'll have too good of a chance at seeing much in the way of rain, although drizzle and cold conditions will continue. Instead of south winds, the winds will be doing a switcheroo for your day tomorrow. Coming out of the north, that's cooler air. Look at that cool air slamming into the Devil's Lake Basin. We'll have warmer air with a lot of wet rain as opposed to white rain, right? And then as we head through the latter portion of our afternoon, soggy conditions from southeast North Dakota into western Minnesota and central Minnesota for the duration of the day. Those passing showers will add up. The north winds will cause things to cool off with Highs in the afternoon, only in the mid-40s. So we'll see the temperatures actually drop from midnight to your afternoon highs. It'll only be in the 40s. Stays rain, though, as we go through our day tomorrow. And how much rain? Well, between a trace, nothing up to the north and east, and we could have a half of an inch, maybe three-quarters of an inch in an isolated location or two south and east of Fargo. Hour by hour forecast. Steady temperatures as we start our day tomorrow about 6 to 8 in the morning. That will be as warm as we'll be all day, near 50 still. Winds switch from south to north. They will be gusty. Temperatures in the mid-40s with passing showers of rain in Fargo-Moorhead. A few showers of rain possible in Grand Forks. Hardly anything in Jamestown and Devils Lake Valley City. You may see some sprinkles. Lakes country, a soggy day for you, as is will be for the Northland as well. Glorious picture there, Matt Faft. Thank for sharing your Judd, North Dakota farm scene. Beautiful weather. Well, it's going to be a while before we see that return. How about 43 degrees with some snowflakes to the north? I think we stay rain here in Fargo on Wednesday. But Thursday, as the system is exiting, we get much colder. Lows in the single digits for some on Friday morning. That's going to be crisp. We'll see sunny skies and rebounding temperatures, but not to the 60s like we had oh. this weekend. So. All right, time has come. I hope you enjoyed this weekend. <laughs> I did. Thank Tried God. to. Yeah. Right. NDSU head football coach Chris Kleiman points out the good and the bad as he evaluates last weekend's road win at Youngstown State. It's coming up later in sports. And a rather unique sculptures coming back to downtown Fargo. Details are next.